With a little more than a month until the fall semester begins, the announcement caught many educators and international students by surprise this week. As it stands, it will affect more than a million foreign students in the United States, many whose native countries aren't allowing anyone traveling from America to enter. Our Lori Lizarraga explains. As of Monday, international students will not be allowed to stay in the U.S. if their university goes online only this fall. I'm a professor. I teach classes. I didn't even know that's going to happen. It's a shocker. The announcement from the Trump administration this week caught educators and international students in Colorado by surprise. To think that you might get deported because there's a pandemic and they found an excuse is really terrifying. Tanya Rusi is an international grad student at CU Boulder. Yeah, so I'm from Canada. I'm from a really small town called Canmore. She's working on her PhD in physics, research she's devoted years to. I'm trying to measure the shape of the electron because it has all sorts of implications for uh, the equations that we use to describe the universe. Students like Rusi are safe. Her research counts as in person. I would love to see our university say that it's not going to cooperate with ICE. She's worried for me. other international students. So is Joshua Mitzen, an attorney at the Meyer Law Office in Denver. There is simply no justification for this whatsoever. Two years ago, Mitzen was an international student himself. I don't think it solves anything. I think it just causes a lot of problems for the hundreds of thousands and millions of students um, that are here um, from, from overseas. It's more political than logical. H.G. Parsa is a professor who also a works for Siwa student. International, a Hindu faith-based organization that helps international students. He, like Rusi and Mitzen, wants to see a better policy for international students and fast. What problem are we addressing, are we solving, asking students to go home? I don't get it. Lori Lizarraga, Nine News. For now, all four major universities in Colorado are planning to have class in a hybrid format, which means students will be able to take some in person and some online courses. At this point, most international students studying in Colorado will not be subject to this new policy unless classes go completely online before the fall.